Notice, there will be no Call of Duty cocksuckery going on at all in this video, so if you do not like that, feel free to click off of this video because it is not for you. Legacy Edition to get Modern Warfare Remastered. Alright, so you guys are obviously here and clicked on this video to hear the ups and the downs and the things to look forward to and the things to look out for on Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. And if you guys do not suck at Call of Duty Cock, please remember to smash that like button down below. Let's shoot for, say, 30 likes. That'd be awesome. And remember to leave your comments down in the description. So let's go ahead and get these ups and downs. Alright, so obviously the first up is the graphics that you guys are seeing right now and you saw in the trailer before I started talking. It This game looks insanely incredible from the original Call of Duty 4. Like, I can't believe that we're going to be able to play Call of Duty in this light. Like, it looks absolutely incredible. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the graphics because you guys can see it for yourself. But that is one of the major pluses about this game. Now, if you've played Call of Duty 4 before, back in 2007 or any time, You'll be very familiar with the way the game plays, the perks, the different weapons, and you'll be very happy to know that another up about this game is the fact that I'm not changing the way it plays. It'll still be Call of Duty 4 and the way it moves and plays, but it'll just have updated graphics, which is amazing. But something not so amazing that really gets to me is the fact that you have to spend $80 or more to get the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare, which, in my opinion, I I absolutely do not want that game. It'll go back as soon as I get it, and that's what a lot of people are saying as well. I don't think we should have to spend that much money just to get $20 worth of a game when we won't even get that much back in store credit. We're not going to get our full money's worth. Now, obviously, we're only getting 10 maps, which is another downfall to this. They're only releasing 10 maps to us, which you can only imagine they're going to release the rest of the maps to us, or maybe even some new ones, which I'm kind of open to. I think that'd be kind of cool. But they're going to be releasing those most likely in a DLC later on to be announced, which is, in my opinion, pathetic. I think you should give us the full game. If anything, you shouldn't give us a half-assed version of the game. Now, obviously, it is not half-assed. It's still the same game, but it's it's just the fact that you have to spend all that money for a game that you don't even want yet. You're spending money for two games when you only want <laughs> the cheaper of the two. Now obviously that's their marketing standpoint, that's how they're going to make all their money, but at the same time, maybe you shouldn't have chosen the road that you went down, because you know that Infinite Warfare is not going to sell that well without this Call of Duty 4 remastered attached to it. So that is one of the biggest downs about this game. Now following that down is something that is extremely exciting for me, the fact that your stats will not carry over, you get fresh restart, you do not have to start off from any modded prestige that you were put, because obviously that game got modded like crazy. But I know that mine ended up getting hacked at some point as well. But I know you will be starting fresh. You will have an entire ranking system with Master Prestige. There was not a Master Prestige before. It was just 10th Prestige and done. You will be able to get a Master Prestige, which is something that's very exciting to me. So obviously they're taking initiative and taking a few steps to add a little bit more content to the game. So we have a little bit more playability out of the game as well. Alright you guys, so that's it for this episode, I'm sorry that I cut it so short this time, I'm going to be uploading probably about 3 or 4 more videos to add to this topic, it's going to run a few videos long, I've got a lot of other stuff that I'm working on for this channel, I'm really excited to bring you guys new content, so if you guys do not suck the Call of Duty cock, remember to like this video, and like this video if you've been playing Call of Duty 4, if you are a fan of Call of Duty 4 and would rather play the remastered version more than Infinite Warfare. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.